So please beware, they can cause disaster when they touch down. Tornadoes are violent storms that whirl around. It looks like a funnel of air that goes around. The sky is dark and hail might fall to the ground. Across the land, it's a very scary storm. Although tornadoes are violent storms, they usually do not last very long. Most tornadoes occur during April, May, and June. When wet, warm air meets dry, cold air from another direction, a tornado can form. Hurricanes start over tropical seas. They're masses of whirling clouds that pick up speed. They travel many miles and then can strike land. Destroying trees and property with its upper hand. To keep track of hurricanes, we give them names. Like are enormous storms that can be 10 miles high. They can cover miles and miles of ocean and last for many days. Hurricanes can occur from June through November. Tornadoes and hurricanes are very violent storms, so we depend on meteorologists to be informed and give us warnings so that we can be aware. And go to a safe place and be properly prepared. Did you know that thunder is the noise made by lightning? Lightning and thunder happen at the same time. But have you ever noticed that you will see lightning before you hear thunder? That's because light travels faster than sound. I see a flash way up high. The brightness sure does catch my eye. I see a flash way up high. It is lightning in the sky. I hear a bang and a pop. The noise makes me jump and sigh. I hear a bang and a pop. It is thunder in the sky. I see the rain coming down. The grass is no longer dry. I see the rain coming down. It is raining in the sky. I hear the wind blowing around. The birds, they no longer fly. I hear the wind blowing round. It is windy in the sky. During a thunderstorm, clouds become charged with electricity. Lightning is a massive electrical spark. Lightning is very dangerous. If you are swimming in a lake and a storm arises, get out quickly. Don't stand underneath a tree or hold any metal object like a golf club. The safest place to be during a thunderstorm is indoors. Once inside, unplug your television, computer, and stereo, and do not use the telephone unless it is an emergency. I hear the hail falling fast. This thunderstorm, it is not shy. I hear the hail falling fast. It is hailing from the sky. I see a twister spinning round. I'm scared, this I don't deny. I see a twister spinning round A tornado's in the sky I feel my mom, she's waking me And telling me to play outside I feel my mom, she's waking me It is sunny in the sky I'm 
must have been dreaming about rain and lightning in the sky. I must have been dreaming about. Oh, it's sunny in the sky. Let's go and play outside. This layer gives us air to breathe and heat to keep us warm. It's where our weather changes from sunshine to rainstorms. The air can change from warm to cold or somewhere in between. The air can change from damp to dry. It can be unforeseen. All these changes are the weather that we watch each day and hope for sunny blue skies so outside we can play. From fair skies to sunshine with humid air to breathe. To cloudy skies to drizzle with thunder and lightning The weather's always changing, it doesn't stay the same For although we have sunny skies, tomorrow it could rain The weight of the air in the atmosphere pressing down on the earth is called air pressure As the temperature, air pressure and moisture in the air changes, so does the weather The heat from the sun warms the air close to the ground And warm air likes to rise, meteorologists have found so we know that the movement of the air makes the wind blow. Warm air and cold air move through the atmosphere when they meet. A front is said to appear. Cold fronts and warm fronts might cause it to rain. For when the air is moved around, the weather sure to change. From fair skies to sunshine with humid air to breathe, to cloudy skies to drizzle with thunder and Changing, it doesn't stay the same. For although we have sunny skies, tomorrow it could rain. Why is it hot and muggy when it is summertime? Why does the weather change? Why does it snow sometimes? Why is it cold and frozen when it is winter time? We have four different seasons because the Earth is tipped as it rotates around the sun. When the Earth is tipped toward the sun, we have summer. When the Earth is tipped away from the sun, we have winter. So it takes the Earth one complete year to rotate around the sun. And that is why we have four seasons. March, April, May are the months in spring. The buds appear on the trees, the birds begin to sing. June, July, and August, it's fun to play outside. During these summer months, we have a great time. September and October, and November too. Autumn or fall, it's called. These months are getting cool December, January February burn 
It's winter and it's very cold with freezing temperatures. There are four seasons, four seasons in a year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter brings cold cheer. There are four seasons, four seasons in a year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter brings cold cheer. Such a sweet delight In summer I play kick the can And hide and go seek And skip stones across the water In my backyard creek
birds fly south to relocate while some animals just hibernate the evergreens are draped with snow the wind can sting as it blows hot chocolate is so good and sweet after sleigh Upon my back I gaze up in the sky It's full of puffy fluffy clouds that seem to float on by Each looks just like a picture so I name each one and say I think I see my uncle's face or maybe it's Aunt May's soft green grass and feel the gentle breeze. I like to feel the warm sun although it makes me sneeze. I make believe I see a play that appears up in the sky. The clouds move as each scene changes right before my eyes. seems to quickly pick up speed my pictures are becoming dark and now they're leaving me the sun has seemed to disappear the clouds are whirling round i'll just take one more look above before i am homebound to the puddles on the ground the water seems to disappear it doesn't stay around the sun comes out and soon all those puddles can't be found i want to know what happens to those puddles on the ground the heat from the sun warms the
like a circle. It rains, the water evaporates from the sun's heat, the water vapor forms clouds, the clouds become heavy, and the rain falls to the earth again. It's called the water cycle. measure wind speed. Back in the early 1800s, Sir Francis Beaufort, a British admiral, designed a scale to measure wind speed. Today the scale is called the Beaufort scale. The scale rates wind speed from 1 to 12 and describes how objects look when the wind blows on them at different speeds. Number 1 describes very calm light wind, while number 12 refers to wind speeds creating hurricane conditions. The Sweet. 
is a special tool that measures the temperature. It tells us if it's hot or cold, if we are not quite sure. An anemometer measures the speed of the wind. It looks like three small round cups that move around and spin. Out highs or lows, although you cannot feel it change, it's important to know. pressure is low, it is likely that it will rain. When air pressure is high, it means that air is moving toward the earth and the weather will be dry and sunny. Now weather satellites float in space and take pictures for us to see, like how the clouds are forming or just what the weather brings. And weather stations are set up across the earth so we with computers it helps us to foresee just what the weather has in store we need these special tools from weather maps that show if the fronts are warm or cool now forecasts tell us lots of things although they often change like when we're told it's sunny some when cold air pushes against warm air. Cold fronts move quickly and often bring rain, thunder, or lightning. These storms do not last very long and the temperature is usually cooler after they are over. 
A warm front forms when warm air pushes against cold air. Warm fronts move slowly and may produce light rain showers that will last for a few days. The weather is usually warmer after a warm front. They check the air pressure just to see if it is low or high. For low air pressure means the water vapor is on the rise. Dark clouds will form, they'll get real big and cover our great skies. And rain or snow will fall because low pressure forecasts on television, although they are usually right. Occasionally, when it's supposed to be sunny, it will rain. I think it would be fascinating to study about the weather. Thunderstorms, cloud formations, tornadoes, and windy weather are so interesting. I think I would like to be a meteorologist and appear on national television to give the weather forecast. <laughs> 